Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today's another traditional speed paint, and it's just a little pose that I wanted to draw. Um, I was just practicing the pose, I wanted to play around a little. And this is done on the Canson watercolor pad of 300 GSM. The pen that I'm currently using is the Sakura Micron Pigma Brush Pen. And I was originally planning to do this with watercolors as this is a watercolor pad and I just wanted to do watercolor but after doing some tests on the paper I found out that using the Sakura brush pen and applying water on it with this particular brand or this particular pad in this line kind of reactivated the ink so you really couldn't use watercolor with it because it will feather out and the ink would just mess up everything so I had to change mediums and I only found that out after I drew it on the pad already so um, I guess you could say I was not fully prepared since I thought the ink would dry and I let it dry overnight I tested it several times throughout the day I paint I drew this in the morning and then I kept on trying to water or apply water to the test page until night time it kept on reactivating so I left it out and let it dry and it seemed dry to the touch but when I swished water over it it reactivated again so I ended up using colored pencils instead since it has been a few weeks since I last used the colored pencils and I actually wanted to see how it would react or how it would look if I, if I used colored pencils on a watercolor pad or watercolor paper and surprisingly it turned out pretty well. I'm actually also really proud of how the lines turned out to the point that I scanned just the lines at first and I was really conflicted about coloring it in because I really wanted to use watercolor and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to um, bring out the image that I had in my head with colored pencils. Thankfully, I kind of did. So at least I have two scans. I have the lines only version and I have the fully colored version. So here's the colored pencils I'm using. These are the Faber-Castell 48 classic colored pencil set. And the thing that I wanted to do with them is I wanted to use the colors that I don't usually use. So I usually use the flesh tone, blue, and some green and brown most of the time. So I have a tendency to neglect the reds, the oranges, the pinks, and I think I use green a lot, but it's only when I do drawings with a foresty background, which isn't very often with colored pencils. So I chose colors that I don't use a lot. So that's gonna be pink and the yellows, and I chose colors that they would complement each other. So I'm using the color wheel as basis, etc., etc. And I really think it turned out pretty nice. I really like the color of the hair that I went with. So what I'm doing now is that I'm adding a very light coat of the base color. And then I'll be layering on a darker color later. And you won't really see it since I cut it out. I used the cotton bun you see on the side to smoothen out the pigment of the colored pencils. And this makes it easier to apply a third layer and it won't make the paper rip. Or if the paper was thinner and you apply three coats of this band of colored pencils, it would start to rip because it wouldn't really apply and you'd kind of force it and the paper would get scratched and all that. But if you use 
the cotton bud and sometimes some people use baby oil as well but I'm just using the cotton bud if you just if you use the cotton bud to smooth it out it makes it workable again so that was a cool technique that I found quite recently so it made me enjoy colored pencils again It's also really nice to see how adding layers make the drawing look more vibrant and alive. I even noticed it when I was drawing myself that after I set down the second coat of color, it looked really, it looked different from how one, the one side that was just base still. And then when I added the third layer, it was really vibrant and it felt really alive and there was a lot of motion in the piece even though it's just the hair that's just colored now and the skin but yeah pay attention to shadows and highlights i guess while to decide what color I wanted to use on her dress. Originally, I wanted to go with greens or blues or a teal maybe, but I thought that I was using that color scheme a lot. And since I didn't want to use colors I don't use often, I went with yellow, but I was afraid it became too bright, so I added a little bit of orange to make it look something reminiscent of, a sun of sunsets. So I tried to make it gradient ish like it had this little wash as what you would call it in watercolor so i'm using pretty much all the yellow like from the yellow to the pink spectrum i kind of used almost all of the colors except for red
one technique I do want to try sometime is to use baby oil with colored pencils since it's something I really haven't tried yet and I'm pretty sure it would make things a lot easier in terms of blending and layering but mm, I'm just kind of lazy and that kind of process really takes a long time before you can complete the paint a uh, drawing rather and that's why I like watercolors because it's really easy to work with and it dries quickly and I'm a lazy ass that wants things finished quickly which I'm trying to amend but sometime I might do a colored pencil drawing with baby oil okay so this is the Bien Fang watercolor brush pets and I bought them at Diovir because my actually my, par my parents bought them at Diovir because I was kinda harping on a bit about Copics and they weren't really sure if this was the right thing well, they did three brushes, they like a brush pen, but my problem with them was they only worked with a slippery paper. So the Canson watercolor pad was perfect for it, but if you use it with more absorbent paper, like normal um, sketchbook or computer paper, it gets sucked up really quickly. So it's really hard to blend and it's really hard to get a nice um, coat, a nice even coating. It only worked here because it was it stayed liquid long enough for me to use a for me to blend it out with water. So I'm using the white Uniball Signal gel pen to add the stars and to add a white highlight around the character. And that's pretty much it actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Maybe like or subscribe to my channel. And I will see you around.